All right, let's talk continuity. This is usually pretty easy to see, just difficult to write. Okay, uh, textbook definition. A function is continuous over an interval of its domain if the graph is a single, unbroken curve with no holes, gaps, or jumps. All right, to me that's a little bit more complicated than it needs to be, so here's my definition. A function is continuous over an interval of its domain if its hand-drawn graph over that interval can be sketched or traced without lifting a pencil from the paper. So again, if you can trace your graph without picking up your pencil, it's continuous. All right, so let's look at a couple examples. Let's describe the intervals of continuity for the function. You guys, this is exactly like increasing and decreasing. We need intervals of the domain where the function is continuous. Don't even look at the y-axis. It doesn't help you get the answer. Okay, let's note where we are discontinuous. And so that's the first step I take here. We are discontinuous at negative 8, negative 2, and 6. All right? Does everybody see how we are discontinuous at negative 8? Why? Because, and let me change, since my graph is red, let me change Notice, I, if I'm tracing here, I have to pick up my pen to go over that open circle. I'm tracing, tracing, tracing. Oops, got to pick up to move over here. Tracing, tracing, tracing. Oops, got to pick up my pencil to continue over here. So I'm discontinuous at negative 8, negative 2, and 4. And so you guys know this axis runs negative infinity to positive infinity. All right? And so what's my domain, my intervals of continuity? Negative infinity to negative 8, negative 8 to bracket on the negative 2 because of this closed circle right here. Now I have parentheses on negative 2 because on this side I just keep going up on my x-axis to parentheses on 6. Why parentheses on 6 here? Because of this open circle. All right, and then I have a closed circle, so I go bracket on 6 to infinity. Okay, and so this is a very difficult example. You will not see them in the homework this complicated, but I wanted to show you how to write the intervals of continuity. Okay, let's do another example. All right, again here, we are discontinuous at negative 1, at 0, and at 1. All right, and so I'm going to read left to right, walking down my x-axis to figure out how I'm going to write my intervals of continuity. I start at negative infinity, and I'm going along, and I get to negative 1. All right, I look up here, I have a closed circle. So I have negative infinity to bracket negative 1. All right, for this part right here, I'm looking for how am I going to use parentheses or brackets. I notice I have an open circle. So parentheses on negative 1 to parentheses on 0. All right, because my function just keeps going up. All right. For this part right here, I see I have an open circle, so I'm going to go parentheses on 0 to parentheses on 1 because of this open circle. And then I have parentheses on 1 to infinity. All right, so again, more complicated than you'll see in the homework, but I really wanted to try to teach you guys how to write these difficult intervals of continuity. Again, two tricks read left to right. Okay, again, one more time, read your graph left to right and look on the x-axis for domain intervals of continuity.